This is your hitch. The hitch has a switch on top of it that makes it go up and down. And it has a light that comes on or off. You have two propane tanks with a switch behind them. That direct switch propane tank is in use. This is your battery. And your battery disconnect is down underneath. This is pass-through storage in the front of the unit. In the front of the unit you can see your controller for your inverter. This is one of your stabilizer jacks. This is the city water connection and your electric connection where your cord wraps up and winds in. Underneath you see your gray tank and your black tank valves. Always make sure you dump your black tank first and then rinse out with your gray tank. Your rear store, this is your rear storage unit. You can see where it has both sides. This is your cable TV input. This is the switch that extends your stabilizer jacks in the rear. And more storage. This is a complete pass through storage to the other side. This is the outside shower, hot and cold water. Underneath by the passenger side tires are your low point drains for hot and cold water run lot pines. This is a cable outlet for a TV on the side of the unit and a 110 outlet. These are the vents for the furnace and the hot water heater and a fresh water tank fill. The white valve underneath is for your fresh water tank drain. It's your hot water heater. It is both gas and electric. This is the switch for the front stabilizer jacks. And this is your RV starter kit. And you can see the placement for the converter if you get one. These are the, these are the steps that go in and out of it. They are adjustable depending on the level of the ground. The adjustment is done by pulling the pin and extending the legs so that the steps stay firmly on the ground. When you fold the steps up, make sure they latch with the yellow latch. So otherwise they will bang against the door. To release them, you just rotate the handle. Bedroom. There are two lights in the ceiling with a push button in the center of them to turn them on and off. You have two, two cabinets, one on each side, and a small nightstand. On the other side, another cabinet with access to the underneath storage. There's storage underneath the bed and what you see in there is the crank in case you need to manually raise and lower the jack along with the vacuum hose. The doors slide shut to give privacy. Make sure when the doors are in the travel mode that you snap 
the snap to hold them in place. If you were to put a TV in the bedroom, that's where it would mount. So the light switch for the lights over the dinette and over the sofa. There are also two USB ports right underneath the light switch. Folds flat into a bed. And there is storage underneath the sofa also. The dinette will also fold into a bed. The table comes up, slides in, you set down, and it becomes a bed when you fold the cushions out. This is your CO2 propane gas monitor. This is your thermostat. The thermostat has auto. Furnace off, auto cool, auto furnace off. A small closet, pantry style closet. This is the bunkhouse area. The lower bunks have a light above them. There's a central light in the upper bunks and a closet in the back. Is the bathroom, the tub, a shower head, a vent, mirror, storage underneath, and to the side. You have a refrigerator, 12 volt, the refrigerator, and a freezer. Those are the controls for the refrigerator. It is 12 volt. Underneath the refrigerator is your control panel where all your fuses are. So it has fuses for both 12 volt and 110 operation. This is your range. It has a fold back cover. And it has an automatic striker. an overhead light and the fan and then your microwave sink storage underneath these are all your manuals and books that come with it this is your vacuum this is front storage and where you would mount a TV in the front of the unit along with all the connections for cable your control set this is your control center this is for your slide your slide in and your slide out this is for your awning in and out this is for your water heater it can be the this is your water pump this is your water heater your gas this is for lights one which turns the light on in the upper cabinet Lights two turn the lights on the central unit, central house. This is your awning light. This is how you can check your tanks. So you check your battery, it's full. Fresh water tank is two thirds full. Black tank is empty. Gray tank is empty. Black two is empty. Gray two is empty. On your air conditioner, you can open and close this vent for more rapid cooling in the central unit. You close the vent and it pushes it out through the ceiling ducts. 
So the outside of your unit.